and welcome to ACR's online tutorial for SwiftPOS GC changes effective October the 1st. In this tutorial we're going to show you how to change the back office settings to uh, comply with GST, how to use the product uh, price wizard to easily change your or update your pricing to include the 2.5% additional GST and we're going to show you how to update your terminals down to, uh, down to the front end. So before we, we begin the, um, the tutorial, uh, make sure that you have your SwiftPOS uh, back office and your SwiftPOS connect open. The, the first step of this process is to open SwiftPOS connect. What we want to do is we're going to make some changes in the back office that we don't necessarily want, we don't want to go down to the tills until we're ready to send them down uh, once the GST effect has come into place. So we're going to turn off the updates down to the tills. To do that, we come down to Options and Settings. Under General Settings, Poll for Updates every 5 minutes has been enabled. We want to change that down to 0, which will disable the automatic updates. And click OK. Alright, so now we know that the changes that we're making in the back office are not going to be sent down to the tills and give us a, give us a surprise at the front end. Next we're going to do a backup of the system which is uh, probably the most important thing of this tutorial. Uh, extremely important that uh, you don't miss the step, you do do the backup uh, in case you get any of the steps wrong you'll be able to go back, reinstate your backup and, uh, and no great drama. So click administration, come down to SQL tools, uh, if you can't see SQL tools just click on the administration here and tab down and I'll, uh, you'll see them there. So click on SQL tools. Now if you are running a, an older version of SwiftPOS your SQL tools will actually be a separate application. To find that application if you go to start, all programs, sample software and in here you'll see the SwiftPOS tools icon. It's, it's a slightly different icon to this, this is a newer version. Uh, run the application and you'll be at the same point that we're going to next. So, under SQL tools, come up to backup database. We want to put this into the SwiftPOS backups folder on the C drive. So to get there, just browse. C, down to SwiftPOS, we have a default backup folder there. Click the folder, OK. Here's our backup, which has been automatically named for us with the, the date. I'm going to change this to pre-GST and click backup now. If for any reason your backup is unsuccessful uh, or you have trouble doing your backup, then please contact us on 09 358 0165 and we'll get your backup done for you and then we'll let you carry on with the tutorial. So now that our backup is done, we're ready to start changing some settings. The first setting we're going to change is under administration again. We're going to go to tax setup. We uh, this is the existing um, default tax is uh, tax ID one, including GST. Uh, sorry, it's beyond gross, and we highlight that. So tax ID one is a gross twelve and a half percent. Uh, it's VAT conventional and all of our categories that have GST applied have been taxed and all of our price levels have been taxed. What we're going to do is this GST that no longer exists but we want it to stay there for um, historical reporting on sales that were done at 12.5%. So we don't want to delete it, we're just going to deactivate it. We're going to activate uh, price uh, tax ID 2 and we're going to call that including GST 15%. It's going to be on gross, percentage is 15%. We want to make sure that down here the style is VAT conventional and we want to tick all the categories that have GST applied to them. So categories uh, that some of you may have categories which have got your, your products are related to vouchers. Now obviously they don't, aren't uh, GST applicable, so don't tick them if um, you do have categories that don't have GST applied to them. 
click and activate all your price levels to this new GST ID. Okay, so just to recap, we've deactivated uh, tax ID 1, we've activated tax ID 2, we've renamed it, we've calculated it on gross, percentage is 15%. We've changed the style from USA to VAT and we've highlighted all of our categories that um, have GST applied to them and we have activated the GST for all of our price levels. So that all looks fine. Click save. Great. Next we're going to perform a price change wizard. So let's go to, first of all, we'll go to products, price change wizard. Now, what this enables you to do is we're going to do a multiplication, uh, um, a multiplier across all of your products to increase all your products by 2.5%. And then we're going to apply a rounding formula to the products so they get nicely rounded to a, um, a manageable denomination. So to do this, we're going to go new. And to give it a name, GST change over pricing. A nifty feature on this software is the ability to schedule that to happen automatically. So we're going to schedule that to happen for the 1st of October. Okay, so on the 1st of October, what we're doing will, will automatically apply. Uh, let's go to Wizard. Okay, start on this tab here. We're going to change prices from normal. If you're running multiple locations, then you'll have to do the locations uh, one by one from price level normal. Groups and filters allows us to select um, different product groups that we're going to apply these changes to. GST is across the board, so we're going to be doing it to all of the products, formulas and rounding. So we're going to do a multiplication formula. So choose multiply by value. We're going to multiply all our products by 0222. And we're going to choose a quick service rounding method. And the rounding is going to be up and down, down or up. I'm going to choose up and down because it's going to balance it out across the board. Um, you can choose either up, down or up and down. Okay, so now you've chosen the, um, the rounding formula that, that you're happy with. Come down here and choose the denomination that you want to round to. Um, so I'm going to choose 10 cents, but you can choose um, to the nearest dollar. So 10 cents for me. Um, and click finish. Now this will uh, populate all of our products with our, um, and show us our current price. And it will show us the calculated price and it will show us the calculator price with the rounding applied. So you can now go through these prices and manually override them to suit your menu or to suit the denominations that you'd like to be using at the front end. So we might change that to eight dollars. Dollars and we'll change that to ten dollars. Okay, so now that we've done that and we're, we're happy with our pricing, we click save. Save price change, yes. So obviously if you have more than one active price level, you're going to have to do this for each of your price levels. So I'll just do another example of this now. So price level two. Go to the wizard, and we're going to choose. We might choose the staff price level from staff groups and filters, and again apply our rounding formula. Multiply by value, 1.022. Choose your rounding, and finish. And here's our staff price. Okay. Save that. Go commit. I forgot to do the date, so make sure that you choose the 1st of October and click save, and we're done. So repeat that process until all your active price levels have been completed. 
Now, the next step we have to do is to um, change our GST component in our stock products to our suppliers. So we want to do this because um, every product has a default GST component that uh, will populate the um, invoice entry. So we want to change that from 12.5 to 15%. Sample software have done an update uh, for this, uh, specifically for GST to make it a, a lot simpler. There are some of you will be on versions of the software where you still have maintenance. If you still have maintenance as of the uh, the 20th of the 9th, 2010, then you'll be eligible for this this maintenance update and this new feature. So I'll show you what the new feature is. First of all, I'll show you the old way uh, for people who are on older versions. So to find out if you are on uh, a version and you still have maintenance available and the ability to upgrade to take advantage of this feature, click on registration, come down to license manage, manage maintenance expiry dates and if your date is pre 20th of the 9th 2010 then you will not be eligible for this update if it's post 20th of the 9th 2010 then you will be able to get this update so contact us and uh, arrange for us to um, get you upgraded on older versions of software or software that hasn't been up updated to the new versions your registration details will be under about okay so first of all I'll take you through the way for customers who are on the older version so click on product records go to group find your stock groups open up your leading product click on suppliers and here will be the purchase tax rate for that product. Highlight it and change it to 15%. Save. Close. Go to the next product. Go to suppliers. Enter the new tax rate. Save. Close. And so on and so on until all of your stock products have had their GST updated. So you can see why there was an update created for this. For those of you who have uh, maintenance, um, go down to administration, go to SQL tools, under miscellaneous click supplier tax and all you need to do is jump this up to 15% and click apply. So all of your products that have been registered for the GST component from purchasing in your invoices will now be set to default of 15%. So click yes. Okay. So that's it for the back-end configuration. We just need to go back to SwiftBoss Connect. On the, at the end of trade of the 30th of September or before you trade on the 1st of October, just send the update down to the terminals. Click full update. Yes. Make sure that that update goes down to the tools and then your GST changeover has been complete. Go back to options and settings. Return your general settings back to poll for updates every five minutes and click OK. Now remember the team at ACR, we will be working until 1am on the 30th of September and we'll be there from 8am on the 1st of October to assist you in, in, in anything that you need. So please do be sure to call us if you in any way get stuck. Thanks for watching and good luck with your, um, your GSC changeovers.